Om nom 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 nom. Ah! Boink! Boink! Hello! My name is Pauline and I'm Anita Holik. Welcome back to my channel, Tikva Hobbies. And in today's podcast, we'll unpack these two huge packages of yarn and we'll take a look at my recently bought tools, instruments. So, let's start. Let's start with these two packages. As you know, I'm making this huge pad cover, which is behind me, and it's over 20%, and now I can approximately calculate the number of balls needed to finish the project, and I realize that I'm going to run out of yarn, especially this creamy white color. So I purchased a bit more, well, not a bit, <laughs> quite a while more and uh, let's unpack this and see what's inside I've got some scissors in here let's start with this green one. Oh, actually I don't need any scissors it's easier than I thought it would be white, creamy white ones, that's not all. There are five more, and that's still not all. And three more. Actually, this color is really popular. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention what it is, what yarn it is. It is Turkish yarn, 100% acrylic. I mentioned in one of the previous podcasts that I'm not really fond of acrylic and I prefer natural fibers. But for a bed cover, which needs to be rather durable and you don't put it on your body, it's okay. And it's guess better for machine washing and I'm not going to wash this huge thing by hands so acrylic it is uh, it is Alize Burkum uh, and uh, it's rather rather thick yarn 100 grams 220 meters or uh, 230 yards so I've got 13 balls of creamy white color and uh, one yellow ball because uh, in, the, in, in the other shop uh, they ran out of yellow color. Yeah? So I decided to buy another one, another ball from, from the shop. So that's only part of it. Let's open this one, the other one. Okay, pretty well packed. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. I guess I'm shaking the camera now. I'm sorry. Oh, that was probably a wrong idea. more yellow ones and another five so that makes 11 so as you can see yellow and white are 
really common here. So I'm going to repeat these patterns. There are actually a few more stripes and then I'm going to repeat the whole pattern a few times. So I realized so that these colors should be definitely bought extra. Uh, four balls of this magenta, how, how would you call it? Light purple? Light purple color. Uh -huh. Five balls of dark gray. And the last. The last one, two gray ones, light gray ones, and two uh, brown ones. And actually, I, from my calculations, um, I discovered I could do with just one ball of each color. But what if? <laughs> you know, it's I guess it's uh, the knitter's uh, greatest nightmare when you run out of yarn and you are nearly through your project. So I decided to order a little bit, a little bit extra, just to be on the safe side. And who knows? Maybe I'm going to make some other projects with this. We'll see. So the packaging goes away. Oh, so what's the total number? Oh, 13, 14, 10 more. That's 24. 28 plus 5, 33, and 4 more, that makes 37 balls of yarn. Nearly 4 kilos of yarn, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Rather heavy. So this should definitely be enough to finish the bed cover, and maybe something will be left. At least I hope I don't run out of it. I was that the white color might run out. I might run out of it, but I hope not. So I guess I've can calculate it pretty accurately. So that's is that's for the yarn, right? That I've ordered and received. And now to the tools. I realized that a few of the numbers of needles were missing in my collection, um, especially the thinnest ones. So I bought two millimeter needles, which I lacked. I had all sizes starting with US1, 2.25 millimeters and onwards up to maybe five millimeter or 5.5. And the two millimeter ones I was missing. My mom has a pair we will sometimes swap, but I thought that I should definitely invest in them, especially since the prices are soaring now and you never know whether you would be able to buy it next next month or you know. So I've got a pair of 2mm needles and here's a set which I got from my mom on Women's Day, about like two weeks ago and I tried it. I checked this out uh, while knitting a shawl. A couple of rows I knitted with those needles. I guess it's better if I show it in more detail, close up, and you'll see my hands and the needles. So to the review. So to the needles, let's start with Adi. These are two millimeter circulars. 120 centimeter needles. I guess that's cord plus the needles themselves. Well, I'm not sure I can say anything new about Adi. You probably know what these needles are like. I can say that these two millimeter needles have sharper tips than most of Adi needles because, for instance, here are millimeter Adi needles and the tip is blunter. 
and I can't say that I enjoy such blunt tips because when you need to insert it into a stitch and I'm a rather tight knitter, I don't knit loosely, so it's pretty hard. So I prefer sharp tips and on these two millimeters they are okay, I would say. Not the sharpest ones, the sharpest needles for me are higher, higher sharp. So you probably don't see, but uh -huh. if we focus, we can see that the needle on the right has sharper tip, has a sharper tip. So I prefer sharp needles. Still, these are not bad, not the worst tips I've ever had, and uh, well. The joint is okay. I used to have Adi lace set. Now it's my mom's and it's at her place. But I had problems with the system of locking the needle to the cable. But regular circulars are okay here. So the joint is fine, so the yarn doesn't get stuck. Well, just to have two millimeter needles, I used to have a pair. Uh, just a bit, the cable was a bit shorter, they were 100 centimeters, uh, and I decided to buy one, just to have, just to have it. And to these beauties, these are Japanese needles, Sick Knit, that's a pretty famous brand, and these are a present from my mom on Women's Day, and in this set there are four needle sizes. These are bamboo needles, uh, the light, lighter colored ones, and these are shorter, short tips. They are 10 centimeter, centimeters long, and the sizes range from 2.5 millimeters to 3.25, US 1.5 up to US 3. And the cords are 20, 40, and 60 centimeters, which make a 40, 60, and 80 circular needles, respectively, when you join the needles. Plus, there are two stoppers in the set, which are pretty cute. You are going to see them. Let's see. Uh -huh. Actually, the cords were packed here. But just to make it faster, I left left them in in this way. Yeah. So there are three cords. Uh, what can I say about them? They are rather flexible, so you can knit magic loop with them, no problem. It's nearly impossible, I guess, to knit magic loop with Adi. Well, might be. Okay with these two millimeter ones, but still that cord is pretty not flexible. These are perfect here. I like the joint. It's really small. And if we take a needle and lock it, let's show you. Mm -hmm. So, you can see that the joint is pretty smooth, even though it gets a little bit wider here. Well, I don't feel any anything which might be a problem. Actually, I used these to knit a couple of rows on my shawl with cotton, and they were okay. I totally loved the experience. So the only thing is that if you are a loose knitter, bamboo needles are your choice, definitely. So or just some other material wood needles, because uh, they can help you with the tension and your gauge will be more consistent. I'm a rather tight knitter, so these are pretty handy when you work with slippery yarns like silk containing yarns, alpaca plus silk or mohair 
plus silk. So this will definitely be useful. And the sizes, these are my favorite from 2.5 to 3.25. I regularly use these sizes, so I'll definitely use the needles. The polishing is perfect. I used to have some Chinese knitting needles, some pretty affordable, cheap ones, and the polishing was not as good. Here it's perfect, really smooth. Plus there are stoppers in the set, which you can use when you need to use needles in, the, in another project, or just if you want to try the piece on. I don't know, maybe you, you're traveling and you need to take off the needles while flying, although these are bamboo, I'm not sure. I, I believe these are not a problem. So, pretty cute ones. Lovely stoppers. So, a really nice set. So, thanks to my mom. So, given it to me that's lovely so these are my purchases this time i hope you liked this podcast and the yarn and the needles thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel for more reviews knitting tutorials and crochet tutorials maybe in the future and inspiring videos see you in the next one bye